So our project title is uh, elect Electrifying Health Clinics in Africa. And the, the location is in Lingi Village, uh, which is in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. Uh, it's located in a rural area. And uh, this area suffers from lack of access to electricity, which seriously hampers the delivery of quality health services. So the lack of power sources affect the ability of clinics to operate efficiently, especially during night hours or emergencies. And as for the symptoms of the problem, so we have laid out the following symptoms. So we have lack of access to electricity in rural areas, limited use of essential medical equipment, delays in surgical interventions and diagnostic tests, negative impact on patient survival and health problem, health outcomes. And how about the, the project objective? The project aims to provide a sustainable and reliable by installing solar panel systems. This initiative will improve the quality of healthcare promote the empowerment of local communities and contribute to sustainable development. And what are the project components? So number one, we have solar system installation. So the objective of installing solo, uh, panels, solar panels will be to ensure a continuous and reliable energy supply for health services. So number two would be the training and capacity building. So the objective here is to ensure the sustainability of energy systems and local self-reliance. And number three would be uh, community engagement and awareness. So what we're doing here will be promoting community acceptance and active participation in the project and potential local partners. And number four would be monitoring and maintenance. And the objective here will be to ensure the proper functioning and longevity of solar installations. Then when it comes to the expected impact, so we have uh, an improved health service. Uh, so so we, we're seeking a reduced service interruption and improved capacity to provide quality health care, especially in emergencies. And for the community empowerment, so there will be a training of local technicians thereby strengthening local capacities. And uh, as for the reducing environmental impact, so here, so we're seeking to have a reduced greenhouse gas emissions. And for the health equity, we hope to have reduced health disparities between rural and urban areas through reliable access to electricity. So what are the consequences of inaction? So what will happen if we don't do anything about it? So there will be a continued uh, dis disruption of essential medical services, leading to a higher mortality and morbidity rates, especially among vulnerable populations. And uh, also there'll be an inability of clinics to use state-of-the-art medical equipment, leading to substandard care. So <clears throat> the measures of success are proportion of clinics with access to reliable and sustainable electricity, frequency and duration of power outages, outages and in clinics, and use and operation of critical medical equipment. And as for the implementation plan, so we start with the, the trial part. Uh, so here the estimated budget would come to $8,500 for the initial equipment and logistic costs in Dingy Village, the RC. So I just want to mention that uh, this price will be higher first, and then when we got feedback, so we then thought of reducing this because at first, we're thinking of like making this electricity accessible for the whole village. And uh, then we said, okay, let's just make it for, for the clinics. So we tried to reduce the price to $8,500. And as for the full scale implementation cost, so the estimated budget 
uh, would be $240,000 for electrification at least of 15 clinics across the country. And uh, where to get the resources? Uh, we, we hope to get resources from international aid agencies, philanthropic foundations and NGOs specializing in health and renewable energy. And we have a local partner, of course, that is Kuvuna Foundation, uh, which objective will be to provide local expertise and uh, establish relationships and logical support. Okay, uh, in short, we would say that this project aims to transform healthcare delivery in Dinga Village using sustainable energy solutions through strategic partnership, careful planning, and community engagement. We hope to create a replicable model of sustainable development for rural areas in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. So that's it we have for uh, the DRC team. Any feedback from you would be welcome.